episode of Precious Kitchen. Today we'll be making fried rice. What is better than fried rice? I really don't know. So let's get started with the ingredients. You will need rice. These are about um, two and a half cups of parboiled rice. I boiled with curry powder and about two chicken stock cubes. And then you will, this is the curry powder by the way. Um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. That's what gives the rice that vibrant yellow color you can see there. And then for, to give it really some good flavor, I just have here some, um, about one stem of celery that I've chopped and put in the blender. And I have parsley and I have um, about seven cloves of garlic, which my girls helped me peel. <laughs> yeah. And then I have um, vegetable oil, of course, to fry the rice. And then I have, um, this is peas and corn. Yeah, they were actually frozen, so I had to just rinse them a little bit in water. And right here, I have some beef liver. I've actually cut some of them, and I'll cut the rest so you can see. I have one habanero pepper. I like to just um, chop it and put it in the rice. Um, I have salt, of course, and then I have my mixed vegetables, red cabbage, green beans, or runner beans, if you like, um, carrots, um, bell peppers, and green onions. Um, you can chop your vegetables anyhow you like. You could make them in cubes. I love making them slanted. So let's get started with the cooking. Um, I've turned on my heat to medium heat. In goes the oil. The oil has heated up for a while, so in goes the onions. While the onion is sauteing, I'll just go ahead to blend my spices. The onion is well sauteed, so my liver goes in there. Remember, I boiled this liver with some salt. Sometimes I put in seasoning, so it's really flavorful. But you know, when it fries in the onion for a while, it, the onion lends it some taste, and it's just amazing. So we'll let that um, just sit in there for about a minute or two. Liver is nice and crisp. In goes the pepper I just use like half of one I, it just gives me a little heat which I really like my kids don't love pepper but you know <laughs> yes that's looking good I was going to say amazing but I, I use that word one time too many so in goes my green onions yay my best part of the cooking is when everything is coming together <laughs> So there, that's what it looks like, green onions for a while, then first I put in the carrots because they are really hard, and, excuse me, carrots going first, give that a little stir, remember we, our rice has salt so you don't have to, you know, I'll just add a little pinch of salt for the vegetables. Red cabbage. This is actually purple. I don't know why they call it red. <laughs> anyway, that's what I and this one, let it just be the like for just a few seconds because I don't you don't you don't want to cook your veggies. You just want them to heat up a little bit and they should still be crispy and fresh. And the rest goes right in. Woohoo! Oh. Just give that a good mix and um, the spices going. Spices are actually better when they come, you know. Right after the onions, <laughs> I should have put them then. Hmm, 
that is looking good, good, good. Just leaving them a little bit because of the spices. And, you know, I use parsley because it has that vibrant green color. I love when the rice is more tilted towards green than yellow. That is looking good, so I'll go in with my rice. So when you're making fried rice, try not to make too much at a time. If you're going to cook, um, if you're cooking for maybe an occasion or a party or maybe just anything that requires that you cook so much, I'll advise you to do it to fry the rice in badges, you know. Don't try to cook for your, oh sorry, my camera shook there. Don't try to cook for your uncle, your big brother, your grandfather, your cousin, sister. <laughs> but you know what I mean, don't try to cook like for too many people. At once if you have that you know group of people to cook for at once then I would suggest you just take fry the rice in baggies this should be about the most you should fry at once just so that you can you know get everything right so I'll just go in with a teeny tiny bit of salt remember my rice was boiled with salt so this is just to make sure so you just keep stirring and stirring stirring and at this point it's okay to taste you know to, sh to be sure that your rice is amazing look at that look at that color look at oh god i can't wait to try this so my fried rice is ready and the taste is simply off the hook i'll just i've already tasted but you know i just want to dig in again so mm. Serving this with some barbecue chicken. The recipe for this will be on preciouscore.com. Thank you so much for watching. Go make some, really. Go make some. Thank you.